Yeah, man, like you said, it's a lot of significant damage here at the hospital. I'm going to show you a few rooms that got the most damage. Over here, the CEO tells me that the respiratory, respiratory therapy got the most. This is the biggest loss they had. As you can see, water is still coming down from the roof, and it's going into these trash cans. And I looked in earlier, and they're pretty high up with the water. Um, over here to the right of me, over here is the director of maintenance. Now, this room, I think this is the worst room that got that damage as you can see there is a lot of um roof damage a lot of caved in um tiles in the ceiling over here as well and you can see a lot of water stains in the ceiling and outside they do still have the air blowers going to dry up the water that came in it was a lot of people out here earlier trying to sweep and get all that water up and the ceo also EO also tells me that they got significant damage in the er department as well and a lot of damage to their equipment now down here we have another room they have the windows open and fans going in here as well this is the nursing secretary's office and they tell me that hopefully tomorrow morning they're going to have somebody to come in and put a tarp over the roof and that's all we have right now live in Ripley, Keandre Malloy, WTVA. And just to clarify there, uh, Keandre, for just a moment, um, no reports necessarily of, of any injuries or anything like that and all port parts of the hospital are operational at this time. Is that correct? Yeah, uh, Matt, that they told us that nobody was hurt. This is kind of just the operations. On the other side is where all the patients are, and they tell me it was no injuries. Thank God for that. Absolutely. That's a good way to put it. Thank God for that. Thank you so much, Keandrea Malloy, there, along with our Andrea Adams.